Hey guys, I wanted to expand upon, wanted to finish off the question that we did, problem number 28 on the Scrabble game. And this is my take two, because I can't tell yet when this thing cuts off. Okay, so, just want to start from the beginning, because I didn't want to, to miss any of the important things. Okay, so here, remember the idea is that they say about 3% of the time, a player that gets um, bingo on their, um, for the first time, when they're used, they have when they have their seven tiles. So they said that only occurs um, three percent of the time um, when they get it, and when it does happen, it takes more than thirty games for it to occur. So today I wasn't prepared to talk to you about what the bingo was. A bingo, they said, is a slang term that you use in Scrabble for when a player uses all seven tiles to form a word. So right here, as I look at this, I just wrote that. I just I must gave myself seven tiles. But when I um, organize them, I get the word results. Well, if those are the seven tiles that I got, I would have what's called a bingo. So that's what that is. So here, as we stated, I cleared up my statement from today. What is the probability that it takes 30 plus um, times um, to get a bingo on the first for the first time? I want to stick our plan and our to-do all together because it does merge. And this is important. The probability of getting the bingo, again, um, is going to be 3%. Okay, and I'm going to use here the 0, 0 through 0, 2 to represent, the, to represent the bingo. So in other words, I'm using 0, 0, 0, 1, and 0, 2. Okay, not a bingo is 97%. And 97% means it's 0, 3 to 99 for it to be a non-bingo. Repeats are okay. There are no omits. Okay, repeats are okay because, remember, we're doing percentages. There are no omits because we're using all the sets of double-digit numbers. And we stop when we get either 0, 0, 0, 1, or 0, 2. Now, this is something that this book did not talk about, the word trial. The trial ends when we get or find a 0, 0, a 0, 1, or a 0, 2. Because remember, those numbers represent the 3%. Okay, so next. Here I'm going to use the random digit table. I'm going to use it vertically to find the set of all two-digit numbers, and we're going to continue to look for it until we see the numbers 0, 0, 0, 1, and 0, 2. And when we know that that represents 3%. I'm going to stop when I get 0, 0, 0, 1, and 0, 2, and then I'm going to count how many times it took for us to get there. So what does all that mean? Let's look at this random digit table. Someone just knocked on the door. Let me answer it. Okay. Of course they wanted water. Okay, so as I look at the random digit table, so you can see how I've already organized it, but I want to go vertically because if I go vertically, I can see how many times it took. So remember, um, first of all, I talked about the word trials. Here's trial one. Here's trial two. Here's trial three. Here's trial four. And then I'll continue in a minute. Now, if your thoughts are, Ms. do I have to write down all these digits? Oh, heck no. Maybe just do a few. We'll figure it out. We'll discuss it tomorrow. But the point is, is so you can see the process. And what I personally would do is I would just write on a couple of numbers and I would put dot, dot, dot until I got to the 0, 0, 0, 1 or... Um, zero two. So I'm looking at my first column here and let me cover it up right here and oh my goodness as I'm looking at it I don't see a zero zero or zero one until I get to a hundred and forty eight. See that's why I want it to go vertical. Woo woo! Okay but that's ridiculous. Okay so we're saying that with the first trial, they did not get it until the 148th turn, 148th game, I should say. Now, their premise behind this is that we don't have to look that far. They're saying that it, it happens when it's 
more than 30 games. So honestly, if you wanted to, we could cut off. And I shouldn't say it's 148. It's just 48 games because remember, the 1 is where it started. But we can literally stop right about there. There it goes so I can show you. Why? Because they're saying past that number kind of makes their... I'll say it again. Don't know when this thing ended. Can't stand that. Okay, so hopefully you saw trial one ended at 48. Trial two ended at the, um, at the ninth game. Trial three ended up at the third game. Trial four, as I look inside of here. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm okay, not dying, not yet. Okay, at, as I look at this, I've got 50, 71, 17, 38, 40, 50, 78, 20, come on, come on, 2. Okay. And here, that is on the 13th game. And then I'm going to keep doing this until I get to I asked for 10 games. I might be asking for less of, less than that. So here's the, um, or I asked for, I should say not 10 games. I asked for 10 trials. So here's the fifth trial, the sixth trial, the seventh trial, the eighth trial. Yeah, we'll stop at the eighth trial. So let's see if we can find it. Okay, so as I look at the fifth trial, let's go... I don't see it. Zero four. Nope, nope. Keep going. <gasps> Zero one. We're not doing bad at all. Okay, so on the fifth trial, it occurred on the 24th. Remember, if you're wondering where I'm getting these numbers from, sliding over. Okay, and I'm not putting down 124 because here, I'm just using these line numbers as the how many times it took. We didn't start at zero. We didn't start. At, we didn't start at one hundred and one. We started at um, oh one. So that's why I'm taking these numbers off. So this is trial five. Then we're gonna just keep going, and you guys can see. Okay, that's trial six. So with trial six, it looked like it occurred with um, 30 plus, because that's all they're asking for. For that first trial, it's a little bit too ambitious. Trial seven. I'm looking, I'm looking, looking for point zero zero. So it was over 30 games. So here it wasn't okay. Trial eight. Oh, zero zero happened on the second game. So what does all of this means mean? This means in if we look at a total of eight games in the eight games that we have that we have one, two, three. That with three of the eight games they were actually able to get a bingo. Um, well, three of the eight games, it took over um, 30 times to get a bingo. So this is three of the eight. Okay, three of the eight, we did not get a bingo. Didn't get bingo until, until, um, after 30 games. But let's see what the conclusion is. The probability of needing 30 or more. The probability of needing 30 or more games to get a bingo on the first try would be our 3 out of our 8, which is 0.375. So approximately 37.5%. That's how this goes. Now,
I now want to do, first of all, I do want you to do problem 29, but not yet, because I want to do problem 30 with you guys. So take a minute, look at the train situation, and as we look at that, we're going to be doing a simulation, add to it, where it says here, we want to audit 20 weeks. So go ahead and read through it. Pause. Okay, welcome back. Okay, so 90% of a chance of arriving late, I mean arriving on time, arriving on time, duh. Arriving late 90% of the time, we got to be taking Uber. Okay, so here, and the train arrives late two of the six days in a week, and the auditor wants evidence. Okay, so we're carrying out a simulation. So first of all, we want to state, what is the probability that the train will last, um, will be late, excuse me, on at least two of the six days? So here is our probability notation. And again, I said this earlier, I am more concerned about this by far. This um, statement up here is really necessary, though, for the conclusion, but if you don't want to put it there, so be it. Our plan and our do are mixing together. Our plan is that we're going to use 1 through 9 to represent the 90% of the trains arriving and um, um, 0 to represent the 10% trains that were late. So here, this is 90% on time. Here, this is 10% late. Okay. I um, Repeats are okay because we have percentages. No omits because... We are utilizing all the numbers. And one trial, this is important, one trial is equal to six days because if you remember, what did they say up here? Choosing, um, um, auditor choosing six week days. Okay? So we're only looking at six days in a week, I guess, Sunday. Um, they're not doing it. Okay? We're going to stop after the 20th week. Why? They didn't say it. But they need to start giving us some clarification on when to stay. And why do we st stop? Because I said, as I look up here, that we're going to audit it for 20 weeks. Okay? So we're going to stop after the 20th week. And then we're going to, um, and the reason is that we're going to get 20 weeks. We're going to basically get 20 weeks of six, digit, six numbers. We're going to use the random digit table, and we're going to use the same random digit table we just used. However, I'm going to use it differently. But we're going to start at zero. We're going to start at one zero. We're going to be using the fourth column. We're going to go vertically again. And the reason we're going to go vertically, you're going to see. We're going to record whether they are um, at least two zeros in each trial. And then we're going to have the probability that the train arrives late two or more times. Because so remember, here, we're saying, as I scroll back up, there's a 10% chance we're able to use one-digit numbers. So we're looking at in each group of six to see if we're going to have a zero, have more than one zero in that group. So like, for instance, let's say here... Let's put an example. If with the six numbers, here's one, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, two, four, six. Okay, so if this is the number four and this is number six, this is number seven, that's zero, that's one, that's zero. Ah, that represents two days, day one, day two, that they were late. Because remember, zero represents late. So as we look right here, I am, like I said, I'm starting with this and I'm going vertically. Now notice what I did right here. Because these represent five digits and there's my sixth digit right there. So what I'm doing is literally, as I clean this up, and as I just show you by folding, I'm just paying attention to the numbers I need. Ah. So here is my trial one, my trial two, my trial three, my trial four. Okay. 
and in each trial I am looking for a double zero. So here is one in which I have a double zero. Okay, no double zero, no double zero, no double zero. Am I missing? Oh, here's another one. I'll figure out what trial that is in a minute. Here's another one. Okay, keep sliding down, 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 down. I said I was only going to do 20 trials, so I went too far. I just got excited because I saw those double zeros. So this represents trials 1 through trial 20, and I'm going to double check. My new glasses allow me to actually see better. And as I see on this, I've got 3 out of the 20. Okay, so that means, again, this is trial 1, trial 2, etc., etc., to trial 20. So that means 3 out of the 20 times... Um, Three out of the twenty, um, three out of the um, twenty sets of six weeks, the auditor found that um, the trains were late. So now, as I put this to the side, let's go back to my conclusion for this particular problem. Here, so the probability of the train arriving late two or more times in six days. What did I say it was? Three out of twenty which means that is, that is going to be, not approximately, but it's going to be actually what? Fifteen percent. So this, guys, is how you do simulations. I want you guys to do problem number 29 by yourself, and um, we're going to find one more that we're going to be doing tomorrow. Have a great evening. Peace out.